Hiya, and welcome back to Tennis Ace, the game that teaches us that all love interests do not know how to cook to save their life. Talking about you, Shoichi. Fucker. He doesn't know how to cook. Shoichi does not know how to cook. Hiya. Anyways, let's just hop right in. Wait. Ah, it's hot. Wait. Wait, did, did you change your username? Ah, it's hot. It's way too hot for 5 p.m. on a spring day. I don't know if the weather forecast said we'd have a heat wave this weekend, but damn, I didn't expect it to come so soon. I'm so glad I changed out of those sweaty clothes and into something more comfy. Nor for it to be this strong. No sign of June, either. 5.15. I've been waiting out here for over 10 minutes already. Why is it that when it comes to that tiger, I always sit around waiting for a long time? Yuichi-san? Ah, Keikun. I didn't see you there. I'll say, I walked all the way over to you and even called you a few times before you answered. Is that so? <laughs> Sorry, I don't function all the way when the weather gets warmer. Cakes, Keisuke wrinkles his nose. It doesn't help that you're still covered in sweat. You should really start using the showers after practice. Push my laptop back. Push the laptop back. I'm already having a hard time with the heat as is. Don't pile on more stress. Sorry. By the way, I didn't see you at practice today. I thought you'd gone home early. Nah, I had some things I needed to take care of first. What happened? It's, well, ugh, I guess it's okay to tell you. KSK looks away and down at the floor. This gesture alone is enough to pique my curiosity. Sure you can, what's up? A few days ago, I went to a music store to buy a new mic. When I was there, I, I had to play a song to test the mic and all. Since they didn't have any recording booths free, I kind of recorded it on the store floor. Oh, wow. Was it awkward? A little bit. I kind of zoned out of it all while playing, but I felt really weird once I noticed the crowd that formed. Oh, damn. You attracted a crowd while testing out the mic? Yeah. They seemed to think it was an event happening at the store. I got a lot of praise that day about how I have a good singing voice and how I'm good with the guitar. He, he is? Hiya. So I decided to join the Light Music Club. Oh, that's neat, but wait, what about the Manga Club? I quit that a while ago. Right around the time they insisted I cosplay as a popular visual novel character for our club's booth in the festival. No, oh, that could have been fun. It was a character from a homo game. The fuck's wrong with that? Ah. So, yeah, done with that. Planned on just going to the light music club to watch but they roped me into applying did you know that our light music club actually has a band as in the band members are the only people in the club that's a bit fishy why aren't there more people not many people are willing to pick up an instrument and learn it and that's the minimum and that's the minimal requirement to join hmm haha -ha. Hmm, I think I'd be interested in learning guitar at some point. Maybe you could teach me? Case Case Shoff's shaking his head in negative. Sorry, but I'm in no way qualified to teach someone. What? Why not? Teaching requires patience, a trait that I definitely don't have. I'd probably lose my patience and then end up screaming at you for base mistakes. Huh, you don't really look the type to lose the patience that often. You're, you're kidding, right? I lose my patience all the time. I always get irritated in the courts and I'm not playing well because of it. Oh, right. I forgot about that. Either way, I ended up spending all my time after class over there. Their band is really interesting. Their vocalist is very talented. She's a senior from Urata's class. Oh, is that so? What kind of music do they make? They don't have any originals yet. They're very good players, mind you, but they're not very good composers. I saw the sheets for some of their attempts and... Well... Hiya. Bad? So bad. But still, the vocalist's voice... I could listen to her sing all day. It was truly amazing. I'm glad you had fun. And what did they think of your singing and playing? Oh yeah, that. Um... Keisuke immediately becomes restless, scratching at the back of his neck and looking away. 
What? Well, I kind of didn't do anything. Oh my. That, that's deep. Yeah, I, uh... What? Why? I got um, shy, I guess. Shy? You got shy? You went into that club specifically so you could sing and play guitar. Well, what would you have done? Played! Oh yeah? Well, you're much braver than I am, then. Oh, come on! I hide my eyes behind my hands, taking deep breaths to calm myself. Keisuke, what's the point of you signing up for the Light Music Club if you just go there to watch? What would you say if June signed up for the tennis club just to watch? Did you just call me Keisuke? That's what you focused on? Sorry, sorry. It's just that I'm not used to you calling me by my full name. Seriously, if you're going there for the music, then you should, you know, play music. Yeah, I'm still not sure on that. I want to, but... I stand silently waiting for him to continue his sentence, but he continues to serve me without saying a word. But... I'm... I'm shy. You routinely play tennis in big tournaments, watched by dozens if not hundreds of people, and yet you decide to feel shy about singing in front of four, maybe five high school students? I never said it was a rational fear. Well, good, because then you'd be wrong. Oh, shut up. I'll do it on my own time. As long as you actually do it. You were very annoying sometimes, you know that. I try to put on the most smug grin that I can muster. Oh, thank you. I'll take that as a compliment. You're unbelievable. I try. Oh, by the way... Are you going to have someone come pick you up today? Yes, always. Why? Oh, it's nothing major. I just wanted to know if you'd like to wa walk with June and I on part of the way home. I think Shoichi might even join us if June takes too long. Hmm. Keisuke's nose twitches a couple of times. Something it always does when he's deep in thought. I guess I could. They only said that I need to go home by one of my father's cars. They never said I had to be picked up at school. You really always look for a way to weasel out from under your family's rules, don't you? Always. I hear the sound of approaching footsteps at a hurried pace. Both turn around at the same time to see a tiger huffing and with his brow covered in beads of sweat. Yeah, it, it is. Yuichi-san! I'm sorry it took so long! I lost track of time! Ah, Urushihara-san. Hi! Yeah, hi. Are you alright? You look very winded. I'm fine. I didn't notice how much time was passing while I practiced and only stopped when a teacher came by to get me. I ran over here because I didn't want to keep, keep Yuichi-san waiting any longer. Well, at least you're dedicated to your craft. True, but I'd still prefer if he kept his eyes on the clock every now and then. Sorry, sorry, sorry. It's fine. It's just a little hot today, that's all. Well, I didn't notice it much. The piano room has air conditioning after all. Die! What? what did I do wrong? Yuichi-san has been standing out in the heat since practice ended, after hours of exercising and sweating. I don't think he'd like to hear you talking about being in an air-conditioned room. Ah, sorry, sorry. I sigh. Even if I'm a little annoyed at him, I can't really stay mad at this guy. It worries me that I'm starting to develop a weakness to him. Gah, now that I think of it, I'm the same way with Aki. It's fine, don't... Don't worry about it. Oh, good. I thought I messed up big time there. It'd take a lot more than that to piss me off. Oh. He's lying, of course. He's incredibly petty. Hey. What? It's true. Since when am I petty? You once went a full day without talking to me because I accidentally spoiled the ending of a movie that was based on a book that was released 40 years ago. That's not being petty. I kind of think it is. What? You too? Who did what? <laughs> Shoichi shows up out of nowhere, putting a hand on my shoulder and speaking up. Jesus, settle down. Why is everyone deciding to sneak up on me today? Everyone? Did I miss something? Because this was the first time I've seen you getting sneaked up on today. Well, there was Sai a little earlier. So, two people? That hardly qualifies as everyone, you know. Oh, shut up. Yuichi-san is just being overdramatic again. What? Oh, you guys suck. Actually, I agree with Junkun here. Of course you do. Well, anyway, what's up? What were you guys talking about? What did I miss? Shoichi, get this. 
They were telling me that I, this brilliant ray of sunshine standing before your eyes, am petty. Can you believe this? First of all, brilliant ray of sunshine? Dude, get over yourself. Hey, how rude! <laughs> oh, great, now all three of them are cracking up at my expense. And second of all, you are petty. What? Yeah, you get upset and pout for the silliest of reasons. Remember this one time, this was a couple years ago when I was sleeping over at your place, and you got at me after I won every single round of Sidewalk Fighter 2. You then proceeded to make dinner for everyone but me. You told me, I'm sorry, you're already too full of yourself to fit anything else in there. I had to go hungry that night. Oh wow, that's awful. But, but, I was a child! You were 15. You were old enough to know what you were doing. <laughs> I was a child! Hydration. But, but... Are you going to do this for the whole walk home? Because if so, then I'd rather just have my car come pick me up here. How rude! Yuichi-san, they're doing this on purpose to annoy you. Wait, what? Keisuke and Shoichi finally break character and begin to laugh hysterically, to the point of having trouble catching their breaths. You, you, you! Yes? When did you, how did you, why did you, ugh! Is that supposed to be Japanese? I didn't understand a single word. Uh, screw you guys, I'm leaving. Aw, oh, don't be like that, we're just having some harmless fun. At your expense, of course. The two of them continued to harp on me for the entirety of the walk back home. I've completely lost track of time at this point. All I know is that I've been sitting in the living room, glued to the TV, since after dinner. Ah, Aniki. The light is flicked on. I reach out with my hands to cover the sudden assault on my vision. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. What are you still doing up? What do you mean still doing up? Has everyone else gone to sleep? Yeah. It's 3 a.m. Wow, really? I look up at the clock on the far wall, and sure enough, it's already that late. I didn't even notice the time passing. Seriously, what are you doing up? Aki yawns, rubbing his eyes. He flops down on the couch, lying the back of his head on my lap and looking directly up at me. I've been watching some footage. Footage? For the first time since he came downstairs, Aki looks at the TV screen. Is that the kid Keisuke-san told you about? The Akita? I nod, keeping my eyes glued to the screen. You've been watching videos of him for two weeks. Are you sure you should be obsessing so much about a single player? I can't help but worry. Something about the way he plays just ticks me off. You mean how he plays so much like you? Maybe. I'm not sure. I think I've already rewatched this particular match four or five times. I keep looking for something that's not there. For some reason, seeing this guy play just makes me uneasy. You don't even know if you're going to, going to go up against him anyway. I get the feeling that I will. If we're talking about skills alone and getting rid of all other factors, I can easily see this guy placing in the top four. In fact, he's the only player other than me in the prefecture that I can imagine beating him is Keikun. If you're talking about skills alone, Keikun should be better than him, but... I just have this growing sense of discomfort whenever I watch this guy playing. That's weird. I look down to see that Aki's staring intently at the TV, also watching the match going on on the screen. What's weird? Well, it's not just that the guy plays like you. Every single move he makes looks like a carbon copy of you. It's as if he's mimicking you while playing. Yeah, I noticed this. This is really creepy. Do you think he's actually mimicking you? I don't know. When I met him, he seemed to already know me. So you're saying that it's possible? Maybe. I'd hope not. It'd be kind of creepy if it were true. He seems to be pretty good. I don't think I could beat him. Well, that'd be a tall order. He's four years older than you. He shrugs, looking back up at me. So? You're beating high school players by your first year of middle school. And professional players face people much older than them all the time. Professional players have all at least reached full maturity. You still have the body of a kid against someone in your adulthood. Still doesn't explain how you did it. Well... Honestly, I don't even know all that well.
And it's not like I was beating high school players left and right. Maybe once or twice. Aki, I think you exaggerate too much when it comes to me. But it's true. Maybe, but um, how can I put this? You seem like you think I'm the ultimate player or something. Ugh, never mind. This is not the conversation I want to be having with my kid brother at 3 a.m. I'm gonna head to bed. You should go back too. Mm, sure, I'll just grab a glass of water. That's what I came here to do anyway. Oh no! I shut off the television and Aki props himself up from my lap, letting me get up. By the way, Aniki, is it okay if some of my friends from the club watch your matches? I don't mind, but why would they be coming over to my match instead of yours? Ask them to record your matches from a lot of angles for me. Why? My coach said he wanted us to get videos of players we admire to try and base ourselves on them. So you want to... Try playing more like me? Yeah! Why do I get the feeling that there's a second doppelganger of me about to be born? I... Sure. Knock yourselves out. Yay, thanks! I really have to learn to say no to him. April 30th, Sunday. <sighs> oh, fuck. Key? Aniki. I nearly jump from my seat as a voice echoes loudly right next to my ear. Whoa, what? I finally notice Aki standing right in front of me, arms crossed and pouting. Oh no. You're spacing out again. I've been trying to get your attention for almost a full minute now. S sorry, I guess I'm a little out of it. Aki sighs, rubbing the back of his neck. A little? I had to scream in your ear for you to finally notice I'm here. And you have good hearing to begin with. Yeah, about that. Next time he's up on the screaming, will ya? My ears are still ringing. I swear, I can only hear buzzing coming from my left ear. That's your fault for spacing out right in the middle of the living room. He looks up at the clock on the wall, pursing his lips. Why are you up so early anyway? Your match is only at 9. Right now it's just 6.30. I couldn't sleep. Yeah, I can tell. Your eyes are really red. Wait, seriously? I walk up to the television, staring at my reflection on the dark screen. <laughs> Even on the super dark screen, I can tell that my eyes are very red. You should at least try to take a nap. I have less than three hours before my match. I don't think that'd be a good idea. Better than going to a match suffering from sleep deprivation, but then I'd risk being late. I'll wake you up if it comes to it. It's not like I have anything else to do today anyway. Ah, there it is. Aki is now sulking again, holding his arms tightly against his body and looking down at his feet. Unfortunately, while I got all the way to the semifinals without much problem, Aki lost yesterday at the quarterfinals. Well, at least now I get to watch you play live. Every dark cloud is a silver lining after all. I can tell that he's only trying that he's only saying that to try to sound positive. But it's easy to see that he's still dejected by it. He's even more competitive than I am, if that's at all possible. I walk up to my little brother, hugging him close to my chest. I'm sorry you didn't make it today too, Aki. But don't let it get to you, okay? I promise you you're still going to improve a lot. Aki stays silent, merely shifting a bit in my arms his head pressed up against my chest. I softly stroke his back and rub behind his ears, trying to fulfill my part as the gentle big brother who takes care of his little sibling. Is he tearing up? Oh, that's sad. It's something that I've done for all my life, and frankly, I enjoy doting on Aki. I used to do this a lot back when we were kids. Whenever he'd get sad about our dad being gone, I'd hug him and try to sing and, and sing to try and get him to sleep. But of course, the last time I did this was, God, six years ago? Time really flies. After nearly a minute has passed, Aki shifts again. His voice echoes from below my head, tiny and muffled. Uh, Aniki? Yeah? I speak at a low voice, trying to sound gentle and encouraging. I, I can't breathe. Whoa! I immediately pull away from him, lifting my arms up in the air. Aki coughs a few times, leaning against the wall for support. So sorry, I guess I squeezed too hard. Th the squeezing wasn't the problem. You pushed my head against your chest. You blocked my nose and my mouth. Sorry. It's... It's fine. Aki sighs, straightening himself back up. Thanks for trying to cheer me up. Yeah, I don't know if you remember, but I used to do that a lot when you were little. I remember. He has a wistful, content look on his face. His tail is even wagging a little. Heh. <laughs> 
Guess you have a better memory than I gave you credit for. Not really. It's just bits and pieces. I have terrible memory, actually. Most of it is fuzzy. Either way, that doesn't really matter right now. Just get to your room and try to take a nap. I'll make sure to wake you up in time for you to get ready. Alright, alright. I'll try. And thanks, Aki. Of course! That's what little brothers are for. The sound of knocking echoes through the living room, snapping me out of my daze. I'll get it. Aki shouts from the kitchen and runs towards the entry hallway. I've already finished preparing to leave a while ago, but I guess I've been sitting around in a daze since then. I tried psyching myself up to mixed results. Guess I just started spacing out again after that. How long has it been anyway? The sound of chatter echoes from the entrance hall, but I don't really pay any attention. Wait, chatter? What is the shirt that June is wearing? I love it. I turn around only to be greeted by the sight of my friends walking through the front door. I told you he'd still be here. I'm perplexed. Shouldn't it be common sense to arrive early when you have a match? Common sense? You do know it's Yuichi we're talking about here, right? Good morning, Yuichi-san. Well, at least someone bothered to actually greet me. Oh, okay. I wave at them, trying my best to hide my surprise at suddenly seeing them all in my house. Yeah, good morning. Um, Don't mind me asking, but what are you guys doing here? I thought we agreed to meet at the venue. Well, yeah, we did agree to meet up, meet up there. In fact, we set things up so we'd meet. Half an hour ago. What? No way. Our matches start in 20 minutes. If you don't want to be get disqualified, I, I really suggest we hurry. Shoichi-san was starting to get worried since you weren't showing up, so I suggested we came, come over to pick you up. Well, aren't you guys nice? Wait, where's Sai, by the way? She didn't want to come with? Oh, she did. His voice was almost somber. D did something bad happen? Not bad, per se. She was flying off the rails because you hadn't arrived yet and kept saying that it was typical of you to be late, late yada, yada, yada. I eventually suggested she try to barter some extra time for you with the officials while we try and come over to pick you up. That way, I could avoid her putting your head through a wall. Yikes. Well, that's more or less the situation. Now, I would love not to be late to my own match, so I'd really like to ask you to come with us already. Y yeah, sorry about that. I thought for sure I'd be leaving the house ten minutes ago. Jeez, I really need to get it together, don't I? We might have to run a bit if we want to make it on time. R run Do we really have to? You don't. Yuichi-san and I, on the other hand, really do. It's alright if you guys want to run ahead. I can accompany Kobayashi-san if he's not up to it. No, I'll be fine. I just... I didn't know there would be running involved. Look on the bright side. At least you'd be getting some exercise. Uh. We managed to get to the venue about five minutes before the start of the matches. I think you're all quite a bit of a warm-up from this. <sighs> we made it. Well, thank God. If I had gotten a match loss because we were late, I swear I'd kill you, Ichi-san. Now, now. There's no need for violence. Yeah, we got here on time. Chill. How can you be so relaxed after nearly getting us disqualified? Well, luckily for me, here comes someone that can knock some sense into your head. Huh? What are you talking b You stupid ass! Suddenly, someone grabs my shoulders, spinning me around violently and hollering so loudly in my ears that I fear I might go deaf. What the hell do you think you're doing? Are you trying to make me sick with worry? Are you? John, settle down! She's shaking me so hard that I'm already seeing stars. My whole vision goes blurry and I can barely make out the shapes right in front of my face. I'd wager that my brain is bouncing around inside my skull as if I were as if it were a pinball machine. G getting dizzy! I, I feel like I'm gonna throw up. Alright, I think that's enough, Sayachan. Sai completely ignores him and continues shaking me like an empty ketchup bottle. Are you trying to get a rise out of me? Is this what you're doing? No, I just... I've lost track of time. Sayachan, I'm feeling really sick. Alright, Sayachan, I'm serious. This has gone far enough. If you keep shaking him like that, he's going, he's going to puke all over you. As if she were snapping out of... I don't know. Primal rage? Either way, as if she were snapping out of it, Saya blinks, looking between the two of them. Oh, I didn't see you guys there. I would like to call bullshit. I would like to call bullshit on that. I can sense the bullshittery.
Seriously? We've been standing here the whole time. I guess you'd never witnessed Saya throwing up a storm before, huh? Oop! I need to lie down. Sorry, no time for that. Your math starts at 9 and it's now... 8.58! You've got to... You have got to be kidding me. There's no way I can play like this. My head is still spinning around. I can barely even stand up! Well, maybe this will jog you awake. Ha ha, very funny. Well, at least your sense of humor is still intact. Sir Cheeks of the Bakery. Mr. Shoichi Urata. Oh, I just noticed. Where's Kobayashi-kun? Wasn't he with you guys? He got left behind while we ran over here. Akiyoshi-kun stayed with him. That's really nice of him. Yeah, well, you know my brother, always aiming to please. Maybe someone should take that as an example. I'm going to choose to ignore that. <laughs> Suit yourself. Well, I'm going to hurry over to my court. I still need to change clothes. I'll talk to you guys later. The same here. Good luck, Yuichi. Kei-kun. Don't worry. The three of us will do just fine, Kei-kun. Just fine. Kei-kun, I'll see you in the finals. We fist bump each other. I wish I were as confident as you are, but I'll try. I'm not going down without a fight, that's for sure. You guys will be fine. You three are the uncontested best of the prefecture. How long has it been since someone's come even close to beating any of you? Well, I'm not Yuichi-san. My matches are a lot closer than his. Shoichi shrugs. You'll be fine. Just do your best. As if I wasn't going to do that already. The two of them just stare at each other for over a few seconds. Smiling. I turn around to head off, but after taking one single step... WAIT! Jun and Aki run up to us in a hurry. Jun is panting heavily, and as soon as he stops, his whole body curves forward, leaning on his own knees. Aki, on the other hand, has yet to even break a sweat. Wait! Y you can't go off without me! Wait, no. Seeing a 12-year-old in better shape than one of my classmates makes me a little sad. Our matches are about to start, you know. I know! Just... He takes a deep breath and... Good luck, Yuichi-san! I instantly jump back, covering my ears against the assault of this loud, booming voice. Gah! June settled down. Oh, sorry. Guess I got over-enthusiastic. I'll say. There are a bunch of people staring at us. I suddenly feel awkward standing here. Ah! Oh, oh, so Yuichi-san is the only one that gets a good luck from you, huh? What? <laughs> and you didn't even think of me, either. No, that's not what I... Don't worry about it. We're just teasing you. I'm not. Kei-kun ignores her, putting a hand on Jun's shoulder and giving him a few gentle pats on the back. All right, we're already running late. Gonna have to hurry. Same here. I'm gonna be switching over to... S switching over your courts to cheer on all of you. And yes, even you, Rushihara. Keisuke smiles, nodding at him. It's not like I'd expect you to be there, but... Sure, suit yourself. I run over to my assigned court as fast as I can. I'm already two minutes late by the time I arrive, but luckily I get there just before the officials declared a match loss. <sighs> Guess you managed to get here on time. Jeez, the, op the officials usually ask the other player if he's okay with waiting for his opponent to arrive. If he's not, then he gets an automatic win. I get that winning is important and everything, but this guy was ready to give me a match loss over a couple minutes of delay. Just give me one second to get ready. At least I managed to change my shirt on the way over. Now I just need to check the strings on my racket and... Okay, all set. I get in place as fast as I can, trying not to delay every, everything any further. At least running over here already counts as warming up. Alright, it's time for me to do this. I take a deep breath and ready myself. I see an opportunity to turn a straight shot onto the open court and strike the ball with as much power as I can muster. It hits the court and slides away. My opponent doesn't even come close to reaching it. The bull just stands there, panting and looking at, at the ball in a daze. Game, set, and match won by Michimiya. Count 6-2, 6 love. Wow, this match won pretty fast. Must be some kind of record. Didn't even take me an hour. I walk up to the net to shake hands with my opponent, who simply looks up at me with a sour expression and grumbles something incoherent. Nice game! <laughs> well, can't help you there, buddy. I put my things back into my bag and hurry out of the court. I'm welcomed by the smiles of my little brother in June. Nice game, Aniki. You were awesome as always. Yeah, that last ball especially. It just went zoom and went out of his reach. It was pretty fun to watch. 
<laughs> I'm glad you guys enjoyed yourselves. Has Shoichi been around recently? Yeah, he said Sayachan is doing well on her match, but... Yeah. Apparently, Arushihara-san is losing. What? Without even thinking, I dash over to his court as fast as I can. W Aniki, wait up! I hear their voices fading away as I continue to leave them behind. I hear the sounds of the ball before I e even reach their court. I can see Shoichi standing way too close to the fence, clenching his fist around the metal link so hard that his entire arm is shaking. I'm surprised the thing isn't getting crushed. Sh Shoichi! His look softens somewhat as he turns to look at me, but I can see the irritation clear the plaster on his face. Wait, what is his face different? It was. Yuichi, your match is finished already? I take a second to catch my breath, running all the way to the other side of the club after a match still leaves me a little winded. Y yeah, I won, of course, but Jun told me things aren't going well at this end, so I rushed over here. Did you at least inform the desk clerks of the result? N no, but I can do that after this match ends. He nods, turning his head back to the game. When I look at the two guys playing, the difference is immediately obvious. Keisuke is running ragged, desperately trying to keep up with the other player's assault. It's like a cannon firing repeatedly against a wall, the cracks quickly beginning to show. By the time I got here, it had already evolved from cracks to full-blown demolition. What's, this? What's the score? Right now, it's 5-2 on the second set. The other guy won the first by 6-3. Meaning that Keisuke has been getting overwhelmed from the get-go? But, but how? I knew he was good. My gut feeling told me that this good was good, that this guy was good. Ever since we met him out on the streets that day, I've been watching multiple videos of him, but I can never imagine that he was this good. It takes some serious skill to take KSK down, let alone this easily. None of his strategies have worked. At most, he could force a rally to go on for a little longer. But the other guy would either run him out, out of the point or just break through with brute strength. The sound of this fence's links shaking echoes. Look down to see Shoichi gripping even tighter. God damn it, Arushi Hart, don't you dare lose like this. Have some pride. God, Shoichi looks really scary right now. He probably doesn't even notice that he's talking out loud. Seeing Keikun losing affected him by this much? I never expected that. Come on, come on, you can do this, you bastard. You can't lose here. You're better than this. I can't tell whether he's rooting for him or not. Aki and Jun catch up to us, with the tiger looking like he's about to drop to the floor from exhaustion. Sorry it took so long. I couldn't leave Kob Kobayashi-san behind. Oh, thanks, Aki. How bad is it? One particular shot echoes much louder than the rest. Keisuke's opponent, Yuya-kun, just smashed a ball that Keisuke couldn't control and ended up returning too high. The shot hits the ground with force, leaving Keikun completely incapable of reacting. 40-15. Match point. No! The mood grows more and more somber as we watch both players return to their positions to resume play. Match point. If Keikun allows his opponent to score again, he loses. Rushihara can't- Rushihara-san can't lose like this, right? Damn, come on, Arushihara, get a grip! The Akita throws this ball high into the sky and serves. It's a fast, wide slice that aims to jump away from the court. Come on, Keikun, you can get it! He barely managed to reach the ball in time, tapping it over to the other side and keeping it as close to the lines as he can, returning the ball to his opponent's backhand. The Akita runs to the ball and... He's going around it! Yuya-kun reaches the ball, putting himself in a position... To return the ball with his forehand. It's a fast flat shot to the other side of the court and... Ke Even with this speed, Keisuke is nowhere near the ball by the time it bounces. Ah! No way. G the crowd goes quiet for a second, absorbing everything that just happened. The umpire opens his mouth to make the call. Game set and match one by Kokonose. Count 6-3, 6-2. The crowd erupts in cheers, clapping and screaming words of praise to the victor. Meanwhile, the four of us stand in place, frozen in shock. Keisuke just lost? In his first year as a high school student, he already established himself as the second best player in our prefecture. A guy like that just lost to some no-name first year player? Damn it! Shoichi kicks the fence in frustration. Whoa, calm down there, big guy. He grumbles something incoherent and continues to glare at nowhere. Come on, guys. We have to at least try to stay positive when he comes out, okay? You know Rushihara, no matter what we say or do, no matter what we do or say, he's going to be down. I nod, trying to think of some way, something that I can do to cheer him up. Here he comes. I walk over to the court's exit. Yuya-kun has already left a while ago, not even bothering to linger around. Good thing he didn't notice us. I don't know if I'd be in a good enough mood to have a conversation with him if he tried to talk to me again. KSK slowly walks over to the exit looking down at the floor with a complicated expression the whole time. Ah. 
At first, he only sees our feet, but when he looks up and notices our faces, he finally reacts. His eyes look distant and tired. Even though I'm looking for a clue as to how he feels, any kind of clue, he merely looks away with a painfully neutral expression. I guess there was too much hope that you guys wouldn't have watched that, huh? Keisuke-san. This is the first time June's called him by his first name. Keisuke doesn't fail to notice that, his eyes immediately snapping towards the tiger. Hey, hey, don't give me that face, okay? B but I I'm really sorry that- June chokes up a bit. He's not good at consoling people, and frankly, it shows. Sheesh, seriously, cheer up a bit, okay? It's just a tennis match. There will be dozens of other matches in my career, and it's not like I can win every single one. Keikun smiles widely to show that he's not upset. Uh oh, is that so? It's obvious. It's painfully obvious to anyone. Keisuke's smile is strained. Forced. He's not wrong. This is just a tennis match. There will be many others to come. If you were to feel that down after each and every loss, then he'd be burdening himself too much. But none of that matters. Feelings aren't logical. No one likes to lose. The frustration you feel after defeat, it's the same, no matter who you are. If you're a rank amateur or professional, I'm sure that the frustration someone feels after losing is always the same. As long as you truly love something, there's no way you wouldn't be frustrated by defeat. Not bothering to say another word, Keisuke walks past us. I want to say something to him. I should say something to him. But I don't have the right. Who am I to encourage him after a tough loss when I've been sulking about mine for years now? The score. The score doesn't always tell you how a match went. Even if the score seems lopsided, the match could have still been a close one. But this isn't the case. Just seeing how that last point went, I could already tell. Keisuke was toyed with the whole match. He never had a chance. He was just forced to keep playing and watching as his chances of victory were taken away from him. In tennis, there's no such thing as certain victory. Anyone can have a chance. At least that's what my father used to tell me. But how can I say something like that to him after seeing how his match went? Urushihara. Shoichi calls out to him, and the hair stops dead in his tracks. He doesn't turn around, keeping his back to us the whole time. What is it? His voice comes out shakier than before. Are you... are you going to be alright? Keisuke's body shifts. He puts an arm on his waist and begins slowly shaking his head. Oh god, not you too. What? Don't start with this sappy melodrama and pretend that you're worried about me. It's creepy. What? Completely taken aback by his response, Shoichi freezes on the spot, unable to do or say anything. If you guys will excuse me, I need some time alone to think. Keisuke walks up to a nearby bench and plops himself down, grabbing a towel from his back and putting it over his head. He leans forward on his seat, the towel covering his head in a way that I can't see his face. I can't see what it looks like. Uh, um, Keisuke-san, are you sure you don't want us to keep you company? Yeah, I'm fine. Just leave me alone. Go watch Mizuguchi-san's match or something. I don't care! Just get out of my hair! Uh, oh, right. Keisuke's words are sharp. Sharp enough to make Jun instantly give up on offering him support. Truthfully, I can't come up with anything to say either. What is there even to say? Aniki. Aki grabs the sleeve of my shirt, tugging on it to grab my attention. Shouldn't you say something? He whispers to me, his eyes full of worry. I shake my head in negative. I don't have any right to try to cheer him up right now, and honestly, I don't think I could. There's nothing that I could say to him, as his friend or as his rival. From the corner of my eye, I can see Shoichi shaking. When I turn to look at him, I see his clenched fists and gritted teeth. His hands are clenched so tightly that they shake violently, and I fear that he could puncture his palm with his claws. Show! Before I can get any words out, Shoichi begins walking towards the hair with heavy, pounding steps. You little bastard! He grabs Keisuke by the collar of his shirt and lifts him up, leaving the hair hovering a few centimeters above his seat. Keisuke rushes to stabilize himself, planting his feet firmly on the ground and moving his arms to support himself against the bench. I'm amazed that his shirt hasn't ripped from being grabbed and tugged like that. Even if his initial reaction was that of shock, Keisuke is quick to compose himself. What the hell are you doing? What's wrong with you? Me? What's wrong with you? You got your pride hurt because you got beaten like a chump and now you're going to lash out on us? And I'm being creepy? How dare you, you little ungrateful prick? Finally regaining my senses, I rush over to the two to try to defuse the situation. Sh Shoichi! That's enough! Let him go! As soon as I place my hands on his shoulder, Shoichi moves his arm to push me aside. 
I can tell that he's holding himself back. Otherwise, I probably would have planted my ass firmly on the ground. This doesn't concern you, Yuichi. Fuck off. His eyes don't even move a little bit towards my direction. They continue to stare at Keisuke's eyes, unmoving. What little I can see of Keisuke's face since most of it is blocked by Shoichi's towering figure shows me a snide look. Oh, please. You? Worried about me? Don't make me laugh. I don't need that kind of thing from you. Our relationship isn't like that. And yeah, I don't care about your sympathy. I don't want it. You can go shove it somewhere else. Stop being a bitch. We're just trying to cheer... We're just trying to help you cheer up. There's no need for you to talk to us like that. Especially Jun-kun. I don't care. I don't need your help. Shoichi pauses for a second, tightening his grip around Keikun. For a split second there, I'm sure that he's going to punch him. Instead, he lets him go and takes a step back. Fine. Don't sympathy? Then that's fine. Here's what I really think of your pissy little attitude. You're trying to pretend you're fine. That you don't need our help and you don't want us around. Don't make me laugh. It's so obvious that you're hurting. It's so obvious that it's actually kind of disgusting. Sh Shoichi so I put a hand in front of Jun, trying to silently tell him to just watch. He does as instructed and quiets down. I don't think interrupting these two is a good idea right now. Plus, I kind of have a feeling about what Shoichi is trying to do. I think I'll just trust him on this. Huh? Who are you calling disgusting? You, of course! What are you planning on doing now? Mope around like a loser? No one needs a sad sack. Get yourself together already. This is pathetic. What? Anyone will be down after a loss. What are you talking about? Not you. What's with those dead eyes of yours that look like they've already given up? I've never seen such a pathetic look on your face before. It irritates me. You've never been the type to get down after a loss. You always use it to, to prop yourself forward. Mopping around, lashing out, don't screw with me. That's not you, and you know it. You don't even know me all that well. Oh, please, we, not, we might not be the greatest of friends, but I've been spending almost all of my days with you since we met. And I've seen you plenty of times before, and I've never seen you getting down. Annoyed? Sure. But down? Never. So pull yourself together already. This isn't the Arushihara that I've come to respect. They both glare at each other for a few more seconds. My heart feels like it might pop from the tension. If I'm wrong and this goes badly, I don't want to have to deal with a fist fight between my friends. But then again, the impossible happens. Keikun sits himself back down, sighing out loud. Fine. I see what you're trying to say. Heh, <laughs> I think this is the first time since we've met that you've spoken to me like this. Yeah, I'm surprised it didn't blow up at you any sooner. You really are a pain to deal with. Same here. God, you're so insufferable. I can see the corner of Keisuke's mouth curvi cur curving up into a half smile. Was was I right? Come on, we don't need to deal with this right now and I need to cool off. Shoichi walks up to us, opening his arms and heading, herding us away from Keisuke. W what about Keisuke-san? I don't want to deal with his annoying ass right now. If you're not coming, th if you're not coming then I'll leave you here. Shoichi turns around to leave. Oh, I'm coming, I'm coming. I continue to stand in place, my eyes fixated on Keisuke as the other two walk away. Aki tugs on my sleeves again, looking up at me in confusion. Aniki, should we go with them? I look at Keisuke one last time. Even if it's faint, I can see his shoulders shaking a little bit. These two, they really can't be honest with each other, can they? It should be obvious that Shoichi was at... What Shoichi was actually doing, and Keisuke knows what he was doing. Yet they won't admit it. They really are birds of a feather when it comes to this. Yeah, let's leave Keikun alone for now and go with the others. Hey, Shoichi, wait up. It takes us a bit of running, but we managed to catch up to Shoichi next to the service desk. Jeez, did he have to go all the way to the center of the venue? Jesus, slow down a little. Look at June. He can barely catch his breath. I... I'm fine. You don't look fine. I'm fine. Whoa, Akiyoshi-kun. Why are there two of you? Actually, is he... Is he stumbling on his feet? I stand corrected. He's the picture of health. I guess I did exaggerate a little. I just needed to go get away from that idiot. You could really do it with some self-control, you know? Did you really have to tear, him in, tear into him in public? No, I guess I just let my anger get the better of me. I hate when people act all defeated and mopey instead of just doing something about it. I snapped. Sorry. Mm-hmm. I don't think that's what it was about. What do you mean? I think you're just coming up with an excuse because you don't want to admit that you were trying to look out for him. What? That's ridiculous. I despise Urushihara. I was just looking for a chance to yell at him for a bit. So you say, but I think you were just pretending to do that when in reality, you're trying to cheer him up with some tough love. What? That's... I mean... Nuh-uh. 
Oh, this is going to be good. Aki pulls Jun a few steps back with a smile plasher on his face. I decided to pay them no mind. Yeah, huh? At no moment did you insult him. All you did was tell him that he was that he wasn't acting like himself and tried to encourage him. I, I would never. You two really can't be honest about how much you care for each other, huh? Sh shut up, Shokun. You're such a sundere. Eh? I try to imitate a, a cutesy boyish voice. It comes off all weird and raspy, but it does its job. Shoichi turns an even darker shade of red. Shut up! Seeing him look so flustered is absolutely hilarious. He's so adorable when he's trying to hide his embarrassment. I think I already know the answer to this question, but have these two always been like this? Oh yeah, for as long as I can remember. They've always acted like an old married couple, although the roles have kind of reversed from when I was little. Really? What do you mean? Well... Shh, Aki! Shut up! We both speak in unison, cutting him off before Aki can get any further in his story. Fine, fine. While June is completely caught off guard by our sudden reaction, Aki is incredibly nonchalant about it, not one bit surprised or upset by it. Jeez, I feel so out of whack all of a sudden. You do? I'm the one who just played a full match. Oh, please, your match didn't even last an hour. Which reminds me, don't you have to relay the results to the officials? Oh yeah, that's true. I'll be right back. It doesn't take me more than five minutes to inform them of the results and then get back to didn't get the time for my next match. Looks like we're scheduled to play at 2 p.m., a bit later than on previous years where the finals would be at noon. I guess they expect more people to come watch if they schedule it for after lunch. Though that also means I get to eat something before the match, so overall I'm pretty happy about it. Now I just need to catch an early lunch so I won't still be digesting my food by the time I get to play. That'd be a nightmare. Huh? I get back to the spot where Shoichi, Aki, and Jun were standing, and... Only Jun is here? Hey, where are the other two? They went over to Mizuguchi-san's court to watch her match. I told them I'd stay around and... Tell, to tell you about it. That's kind of heartless that they just abandoned me here. Don't be so dramatic. They just want to enter my court. Plus, it's not like we left without telling you where we went. I stay behind to keep you informed. Yeah, I'll thank you for that. The other two, though. I really think you're overthinking it. Easy for you to say. You rarely think. Anything can be considered overthinking to you. Hey, did you just call me dumb? What? No! I called you simple. Simple? Is that considered an offensive thing to call someone? No. Oh, okay. to i have to now i have to i'm not going to right now but i will at some point maybe oh okay his gullibility hurts let's just hurry to where the others are sure where's the court you didn't ask them what court the match was being held at no i thought you knew i sigh rubbing the bridge of my nose and counting to 10 i'll go check at the information counter give me a sec okay Luckily, size match is taking place in nearby court, so it doesn't take us very long to get there. Kakun? I'm surprised to see you here. Keisuke waves unexcited at us. He seems so listless. Still feeling bad? Of course! I'm not going to pick myself up in 20 minutes, but I have better things to do than mope. <clears throat> yeah, that's the spirit. Heh, <laughs> if you say so. Honestly, I was also surprised to see him here. I thought he'd have just crawled into a hole to die after the humiliating defeat he had. Sh Shoichi! Could you please not talk about me as if I wasn't here? With how apathetic and silent you're being, you might as well not be here. Could you two stop it for just one minute? Sorry. They never learn, do they? Aki, how's the match going? Unlike the other two, Aki had his eyes glued to the game the whole time, watching it like a hawk. It's no surprise, really, that an aspiring player would want to watch a player of Sai's caliber. sai -san's winning, quite comfortably, actually. She took the first set 6-3, and she hasn't dropped a single game in the second set. I look at the scoreboard to see that the second set is currently for love. Wow. Is every single semifinal match being super sided being super one-sided today? Hiya. Seems so. Keisuke's voice is cold and detached. I can instantly tell that I'm that I've stepped on his toes. Sorry. It's fine. 
He sighs, rubbing his nose with his eyes closed and his, brow fur and his brows furrowed. He does this for a few seconds before turning his attention back to the game. Eh, don't worry about it. Mizuguchi-san really is a remarkable player, though. I don't often get the chance to see her playing seriously. Is she really that different from practice? Oh, for sure. She's the type that can't really give her all if it's not do or die. Yeah, Sai has always been the type to thrive under pressure. The higher the stakes, the better she does. Whenever she has her back against a wall is when she's more dangerous. That's the worst kind of player to face. You're also like that sometimes, Yuichi-san. I am? It used to be that you were like that all the time, but someone's been slacking off for the past few years. I... I can't really refute that. Saya shoots a fast slice that quickly escapes from her opponent's reach, winning her the point. Game count, 5 love. If she keeps this pace, it won't take much longer to have the results for this match. Honestly, if her opponent lasts another 5 minutes, I will be surprised. By the way, Aniki, what time is your next match? 2pm. We'll have to have lunch before that. You'll have to make it an early lunch then to avoid indigestion and other problems in the middle of the match. Don't worry, Mom. I've already thought of that. As long as you're taking care of yourself, dear. These two are weird sometimes. Tell me about it. <laughs> You've seen nothing. It used to be so much worse. Will the opinionated audience please shush and get back to watching the match? I, your majesty. Aki does an exaggerated bow to mock me, eliciting a chuckle from both Jun and Keisuke. Aki-kun, you're still such a cute kid. Shoichi starts to pull on Aki's cheeks, making him immediately go red and try to push the bigger dog away. M where did that come from? Stop it! Shoichi continues to tease him, tormenting my little brother and watching him frolic in place, trying to push his hand away. I won't say anything anymore! Please stop! Aki might not want to admit it, but he actually enjoys being fawned over by Shoichi like this. He's only reacting like this because he's embarrassed that other people are seeing it. A very cute child indeed. Okay, Shoichi, I think that's enough. If you tease him any more than that, his head might explode. It'll be up tomorrow. Uh, th that's the only reason why you're stopping him? Yep. Too bad, aki -kun. Your big bro is already my partner in crime. No! I put a hand on top of his head and pet him gently. Uh, Aniki, not you too! Shoichi and I both have so much fun toying with Aki that we completely stopped paying attention to the match. Hey, you guys, how do the... How much of the match is... Wait, what are you guys doing? Saya walks up on us as Shoichi is holding Aki's arms up and I'm tickling his stomach. Only then do I realize that our match is already over. And that Jun and Keisuke both distance themselves from us and that people are watching. Shoichi seems to realize the same thing as he quickly puts Aki down and moves away from him, clearing his throat. I straighten myself up, trying to appear serious again. So, <clears throat> where were we? Aki-kun? Yeah? Aki adjusts himself, looking down to try and hide his embarrassed face. Do you need me to call the police on these two perverts? <laughs> what? <laughs> huh? Honestly, what are you two thinking? Doing that to a kid in the middle of a public place. What the hell do you think the people seeing this would think? S sorry, we just didn't think. You two never think. Never? Isn't that a little harsh? It's fine. I'm already used to this anyway. See? He doesn't mind. Thanks, Aki. Aki nods, still hiding his face from us. Of course he doesn't mind. It's called Stockholm Syndrome. Please don't compare us to kidnappers. To be honest, I wouldn't be surprised if someone saw you two doing that, misunderstood, and decided to call the cops on you. What? Junku, not you too. I know I would have. Hey! Oh, come on. It's clear that he's my brother. Anyone can see that. Look at the family resemblance. That just makes it even worse. What? How is it worse? I don't know. It's kind of creepy. I... You, uh, what? Aki reaches his arm up, giving me a few taps on the back of the head. Hang on. It looks like he froze again. Gonna need to restart. Ha ha. Very funny. If we had to restart his head every time it's frozen, then we'd have to glue down the reset button. Was that supposed to be funny? I don't know. You thought gonna need to restart was funny. I'm having, a, I'm having a hard time following this conversation. When I look to the side, I see that both June and Keisuke are giving us weird looks. I'm not even bothering to follow it anymore. I'm just waiting for them to finish talking so we can go somewhere else. G all right, all right. We're sorry. Can we just drop this subject already? Sai puts a hand to her chin as if she were thinking very hard about something. 
Well, I guess I can always yell at you two whenever. Sure, consider it dropped. Now if you'll excuse me, I have to go to the info desk to tell them the results of the match. Alright, how about we go to eat at a nearby restaurant? Finals are only going to be starting at 2pm. Oh, sure, sounds good. Wanna wait for me by wait for me at the entrance? Sure, we'll be there. Alright, gotta think up a place for us to eat while I'm going there. Before I can walk away with the others, Keisuke... Keisuke grabs my arm and pulls me aside. Hang on, I need to talk to you. Oh, sure, what's up? I'm a bit confused as to why he couldn't say whatever it is he needed to say while everyone else was here. He pauses for a few seconds, pursing his lips, uh, but then slowly begins to talk. I want to give you some information on your opponent. There's some stuff I think you would, would do you good if you knew. Oh, that? Don't worry, I'll be fine. I've watched videos of his matches so many times already. I know everything I need to know. He shakes his head sideways. You don't really. I've also studied his videos a lot of times, but I never really noticed some stuff. Yeah, I'll be fine. Look, just take my word for it, okay? What's the harm in hearing me out? I don't know. Feels kind of underhanded to get information from his previous opponent. Keikun sighs, rubbing the bridge of his nose with a furrowed brow. Well, do as you like, then. If you don't want to hear me, be hear me, then that's just fine. But don't just don't complain later that you lost because you were caught by surprise. Do you really think that this guy could beat me? I well, it's just. Come on, be honest here. Yes. I do think he could beat you. And not just in the antenna snow matches ever 100% way. I can't really tell who'd win. I think it'll be really close. That's... Huh. I wasn't expecting that. Honestly, I had a bad feeling watching the recordings, but I thought it was just that. A feeling. If I think logically, that guy didn't even look like he was good enough to beat Keisuke. Alright. I guess there's no harm in hearing what you have to say. But can we do this quickly? I don't want to keep the others waiting. Sure. I'll try to be brief. Okay, so the first thing you need to keep in mind... In the end, his brief explanation, explanation ended up taking over 15 minutes. Shoichi had to come back to look for us, at which point he just cut off in the middle of a sentence and refused to speak about it with the others around. So much for a briefing. Well, I guess I did manage to get some useful information. I set my bag down next to one of the benches, rummaging through its contents to make sure that everything is in order. I've managed to arrive five minutes early for my match, a far cry from this morning. Yuya Kun isn't here yet, though. I feel tempted to go outside and chat with everyone for a little more, but I decide that taking some time to concentrate is a better idea. Wow, it really is quiet right now. A while ago, I could hear the distant voices of the spectators coming over to watch the match, but now there's almost nothing, just one whisper here and there. Hello? G my heart nearly jumps out of my chest when a strange voice comes out of nowhere, eerily close to my ear. W sorry, didn't mean to scare you. Y Yuya Kun? Huh? Yuya? Oh, that's nice. We're on a first-name basis already. The Akita laughed cheer cheerily. Crap! Crap! I slipped up and ended up, call ended up calling him by his first name. <clears throat> I mean, Kokonose-kun. What are you- Nope, I don't like it. Huh? He sticks his tongue out at me, making a, making a weird high-pitched sound. I don't like it. Just call me Yuya. B but- so, Yuichi-san, it's really nice to see you again. I knew you'd make it all the way to the finals. <laughs> when I saw the draw for the tournament, I got really excited knowing that I'd have to face you in the finals. It gave me even more incentive to try hard. Th that's nice to know! Ugh, getting swallowed up by his pace. What is this weird sense of deja vu? Is he another June type of person? Rowdy and boisterous? I don't think I could deal with two of those. Um, excuse me, Kokono- Yuya. He cuts me off before I can even finish saying his name. Fine, fine, Yuya Kun. Jeez, how demanding. Is it time for the match to start already and I didn't notice? Hmm, no, there's still two minutes until that. I just wanted to say hi. He flashes me a big toothy grin and I can't help but feel grumpy and annoyed. I get wanting to say hi, but interrupting another player when he's trying to concentrate? That's dirty. I, I see. Well, Yuya Kun. But man, oh man, I can't believe I actually get to play against you. I've been looking up to you for years now. You're my idol. Yeah, but I guess I need to apologize beforehand. Uh, you see, I kind of copied your style a teeny tiny bit. Nothing made. Oh, but over here. Uh, insert Yu Yaku noises here. Okay, I get it. You're very excited, but Jesus, take a breather here and there. You're going to run yourself out of air. Oh, sorry. I guess I got overexcited. I've been rehearsing what I'd say when I finally met you for reals, but I ended up getting so nervous and words kept coming out. Okay. Yeah, I get you. It can be rough dealing with no Which is funny, actually. The 
Hey! His eyes widened a little at my sudden shout. My voice just came out much higher than I expected. Still, Yuya-kun merely smiles, bashfully scratching his cheek. Oops, sorry, sorry. There you go, running my mouth again. It's just... It's just that the last time we met, I never really got to talk to you since I was running errands with a friend, but I really wanted to get to know you. Don't you think that doing it minutes before the finals is a bit of bad timing? Hmm? I guess. It's just that I didn't think you'd feel like talking to me after the match. Why not? I have no problem talking to my opponents after our matches. As long as they're not a headache, that is. Well, I just didn't think you'd want to have to talk to me after I took your title from you is all. What did he just say? Wait, did you did you say that? I said I'm going to win. Yeah. Huh? People say that you should never meet your heroes, but in my case, I'm ready to kick my hero's ass. Um, no offense. N none taken. I, wow. My mind has gone completely blank. I have no idea how to answer this guy. I just stand there, awkwardly gaping. Seriously, the balls of this guy. Interrupting his opponent while he's concentrating before the match just to nonchalantly call himself the winner. Listen, Yu Yakun, I really think I need some time to focus before the Excuse me, Michimi and Kokonose, the match is about to start. Please go to the court. Oh, yay, I've been looking forward to this. Yu Yakun dashes to his bag, fishing a racket from inside and running and rushing to the net. Perfect. Turn around to get my things from my bag, and. Yuichi san, good luck! I see the guy standing on the other side of the fence, directly behind my bench, enthusiastically waving at me and smiling. Yuichi, do your best! Yuichi-san, go get revenge for me. Aniki, don't lose! Jeez, these guys are drawing so much attention to themselves with all the shouting. The umpire is now glaring in their overall direction, and yet they don't seem to care. Shouldn't at least one of them be at Saya's match right now? I won't let these things bother me. I smile at them, waving back with all the enthusiasm I can muster. What's important is that they're all cheering me is that they're all here cheering me on, and I can't disappoint them. We're gonna leave off here tonight. Okay. <sighs> ah. Stay safe, have a good night, and I will see you all tomorrow.